Hey guys, it's Michael. I have a quick update for you on the second stimulus package from Kevin Hassett and the White House. Yesterday, Kevin Hassett had an interview with WSJ at large, and he said that there will absolutely 100% be another stimulus bill of some sort. He goes into the specific details of what they're talking about in this stimulus package, and when they're going to start talking about it, when they're going to start debating it, and when we can expect to receive it. Before we get started, I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm posting my first video on my second channel on Monday. So if you're interested in learning more about me, entrepreneurship, or just what I do in general, then please be sure to check that out. I'll have it linked down below. Anyways, let's jump right into it and let's go over what Kevin Hassett, who is the White House economic advisor, said in this interview with WSJ at large yesterday. So he was asked specifically, do you think we need another stimulus package right now? And he responded by saying, absolutely, 100%, there will be another stimulus package of some sort. He said the question is, what shape will it take? What will it look like? What will be included in this? We've heard this a couple of times recently from a number of White House officials. How Steven Mnuchin said there will definitely be a second stimulus package. The other White House officials are saying they're strongly warming up to the idea of a second stimulus package. So now it's just a matter of what will be in it and when we're going to get it. He goes on to say how there are a list of things that the White House believes are necessary, are absolutely necessary to be included in the next stimulus package to help the economy take off. However, they said before they can make any decisions on the next stimulus package, they want to wait and take stock on how the three stimulus programs that have already been passed have performed before making a decision on this final and fourth stimulus package. One of the things they say will definitely be included and one thing that is absolutely necessary to be passed in another stimulus package is liability protections to protect small business owners from getting sued and going bankrupt because if someone goes into a business and they say that they got sick and got the virus from going into that business, well then that business can be sued. So what White House officials are saying is that this is a must, this has to be included in the next stimulus package. We've already heard this a lot before, however, this is really good news because it points to the fact that we're definitely going to have a second stimulus package. They've been saying this for weeks now, how we need to have these liability protections for businesses. However, liability protections for small businesses doesn't help a majority of us, so let's get into other aspects of what they're talking about. He says that a lot of things need to happen before they make any decisions. He said the situation of what's going on in the economy is evolving so rapidly that it would be unwise to have a stimulus bill as large as the one that the Democrats proposed, as large as the three trillion dollar heroes act that the democrats passed in the house a couple of weeks ago he said at this point we've already seen numbers start to recover in the may unemployment report the numbers were significantly better than they were in april so he said right now things are evolving so quickly and it would be unwise to spend $3 trillion and add that much more debt without knowing what the state of the economy is. He goes on to explain how our view as of right now is we need to collect data and information from the June unemployment report. He said nothing's going to happen until July after the July 4th recess and when that comes time we'll have more data, more information to use to better craft a second stimulus package and what we'll see in this package. He said it needs to be more targeted and by looking at the data we'll be able to do that. He said how However, they will definitely support a second stimulus bill of some kind, which is what Steven Mnuchin was saying the other day, which I spoke about in this video right here. He also goes on to echo what Steven Mnuchin said and added that a targeted bill will be aimed at those industries that have suffered the most and struggled the most because of the shutdown and because of the pandemic. Some industries he talked about are travel and leisure industries because those were the hardest hit industries and he said those are also going to take the longest to recover. Other industries were hit hard but he explained how it will be much easier for them to recover but with travel and leisure those are going to take much longer time to recover. He goes on to mention how even even though travel and leisure were the most hard hit from the pandemic, he also says that there might be other pockets that emerge in July that might require some targeted policies and we're studying it. He says we're looking into it and we're wanting to wait and see how the data is before we make any final decisions. He spoke about how Mitch McConnell said the next stimulus package has to be less than one trillion dollars. But according to Kevin Hassett, he said the White House and Donald Trump have not set any dollar amount yet for the next stimulus package. They don't know how much it's going to be. They said they have to wait until they see the data and they're not making any official decisions on how much this stimulus package is going to cost until they have the data. He indicates that the White House is also considering financial assistance 
as an incentive for people to go back to work. This is what I spoke about in my video earlier today with the back to work bonus and the enhanced unemployment benefits. He says this is something that would help people get back to work, help the economy see a V-shaped recovery like we're looking to see, and that is something they are definitely considering right now. He explains how when someone goes back to work, they might have a lot of unexpected costs, such as they might have to find someone for childcare and other costs associated with going back to work. So he said because of this, that is why they are definitely considering doing some sort of back to work bonus, another incentive for people to go back to work. He understands that there's a lot of costs going back to work, especially with childcare. So they want to make sure that they incentivize people to go to work and make sure they have enough money where they still can return to work and it makes sense for them to return. Because with unemployment benefits so high, a lot of people are just making more money staying at home right now. So he said that is something they're definitely considering as well in the next stimulus package. And finally, he explains how right now the models are not working very well. And he said, well, what we need to do is we need to essentially wait until after some data comes out before we make any decisions. The projections, he says, are simply not a good predictor of what is going to happen right now. As we saw with the May unemployment report, economists were far off from what the actual numbers are. So we just have to wait and see what the data is. They said that they'll make decisions after the July 4th recess. I know a lot of you guys have been saying they keep repeating themselves, they keep talking. However, this was an interview just yesterday with the WSJ at large with Kevin Hassett, a couple of pieces of information that just came out here that were very interesting, provide some insight into the next stimulus package. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to check out my second channel for my video that will be posted on Monday. Don't forget to get your two free stocks valued up to $1,400 when you download the Webull Investing app. Check out our Power of Finance Investors group if you're interested in investing in the stock market and how to make money in general. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like the video down below, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.